This is ridiculous. Oh! oh. I've never seen this type of employee interaction in front of customers before. I mean, literally behind the bar. They're causing him to fail. Listen to what he wrote. Dear John, I just wanted to let you know that I was in Austin with some friends and went to the Brixton and had the absolute worst bar experience of my life. When we were asked to have the game turned on, the bartender said this isn't a sports bar. He then went in the back room with a female manager. I think they were married and argued for about 40 minutes while no one was behind the bar to get us a drink. If ever a bar needed a rescue, it's the Brixton. Well, that says it all. So since Clay lives in Austin now, I got him to come in with two friends and do the recon for us. Good. Is it always this quiet? In addition to the cameras following the Brixton staff, surveillance cameras have been placed around the bar for John and Peter to observe the service from a customer's point of view. Well, there it is, empty. There's not one person at the bar, and it's 8 o'clock. Then look at the beer cooler with the white, bright lights. It looks like a convenience store, not it a bar. It looks really bad. And that's the door that goes outside to the patio. Yeah. Is there anything that would pull you out there? No. Hey, what's happening? Not much, man. Yes, I do. Can I make it old fashioned? Um, I'd look it up on my phone. Oh, OK. Simple, simple cocktail, John. What's your favorite cocktail up there? Can you recommend one? Uh, my favorite is the mule, because it's easy to make. The mule is as easy to make. OK, I'll try that. This side of town, people are just shot in a beer, shot in a beer. That's not true. There's a lot of people doing a lot of mixology in this part of town. No wonder why he's losing money. What did he just put in it? <laughs> he grabbed some Sunday old lime juice and threw it in there. It was the nastiest, sourest drink I've ever had in my life. Wow. Okay. That's that's some pretty sour <laughs> <man. laughs> Whatever, you know. The guy like that just sucks the energy from the room. He never yeah. adds to it. Can you do like a gin gin martini? You yeah, know, I right? could. Let's see how he does with the gin martini. The proper way to make a martini is to stir it. And he's actually gonna shake it. Oh, oh. When you shake a drink too much, that changes the character of the way it looks and the way it tastes. That's why martinis are stirred. You can see that it's misty coming out. Yeah. OK? It's meant to be crystal clear. It's not a good martini at no. all. This. Hey, this is kind of kind of gnarly, dude. Do you order it? There's no way to talk to your customers. What does taste right? Uh, gin and soda would be fine, man. Inside voices, please. Look at this guy. Chill out or get out. I don't go to your bar and act like a From what I can see, Tim is not a very nice guy. He insults customers who order premium drinks, and then he screams at customers for talking loud in his bar. Is this guy nuts? There they go. I'm not surprised. Why would you stay there? Other than the three customers I sent in, those were the only four people in a whole bar, and he chased them away. Where'd you go? Apparently, I make drinks. How is it? It tastes like a flat PBR. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah, even Sarah thinks the drinks suck. Let me make you guys some drinks. Actually, I want to try the French 75. I'm going to toss these. French 75 is great. Done. Thank you. Bing. You know what? We got a superstar in her. Yeah, I think so, John. Did we make those right? It's actually really good. You know why? Because <laughs> I didn't touch the bottle, probably. <laughs> Tim doesn't like the fact that his wife stepped in and is doing better than him. You should hope she does better than you if you want to make money. I've seen enough. OK. A belligerent owner insulting his customers, it's all wrong. And it's time for me to go in and do my work. Oh. Hi. Well, hello. Hi. How, How are, are you? you? Sarah, nice to meet you. Welcome. Tim. Tim, good to meet you guys. The only people here are the three that I sent in. This is Clay. So you manage bars professionally. Yeah. If he was passion. your bartender for a year and a half, standing there not knowing those drinks with his arm crossed like that, what would you do? He wouldn't be here a year and a half. You'd fire his ass, right? Bingo. 
Do you think it's funny that you don't know how to make any of the drinks that you've been on your board for a year? I know how to make them just because it's not exactly to their taste doesn't mean that I'm doing it wrong. Is this a bartender who cared about what you wanted? Nope. Austin's unique, trying to keep it unique. No, you're being a fool. So here's the reality of it. You want to get behind the bar, you learn the frickin' drinks. Next, a customer does something you don't like, you don't treat them like a child. Use your inside voice. Are you gonna use your inside voice? You're bumming me out. Man. Good, I want to. If I bum you out, maybe you'll change. So there's the owner, there's Betsy. Deputy worked the duck race. There's Stephanie, Betsy's sister. She works here as well. Jay, Betsy Hello. needs some wine. Oh! Jeff. What the f you? Listen, no, Jeff, you? Shush. Hey guys, it's not even 9 o'clock yet. They're drunk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Betsy is not running this bar responsibly. She <laughs> needs to grow up and be a business person. There's JP working out behind the bar. What the hell is Breaking this? Breaking a nice sweat. Why is Jay's working the, the weights? Like, seriously? <clears throat> Is that what you want your bartender doing? A circuit behind the bar? Is that unbelievable, oh, guys? God. They are bored as hell. <laughs> Daisy, get pictures. Look at her. Is that unbelievable? That's awful. I can't see anything. What do you think of that leopard carpet? You know the good thing about a leopard carpet? It hides it all the stains. stains. Oh, that it does. <laughs> yes. But does that say biker or no. men no, here? No, no, no. It's Saturday night. The place is stone empty. And it's going to be empty all night, you know that. How do I know how they're doing? How can I evaluate them? So I pulled out a curveball. I got 60 motorcycle guys <laughs> pulling up here all at once. So let's see what they got. All right. Ah, oh, here come the boys. All right, here we go, guys. This, this is, is going to get good. Heaven. Instant Look business. At that. Betsy, look how many bikes just pulled in. There's a whole bunch of going on. Get up. Hey. I'm going to work this side. She's working that side. And let's go. What do you have? They don't realize they're going to keep coming. <laughs> this is like the clowns getting out of the little oh, car where they just God. keep coming. Somebody get me a as a bartender, this is when you turn it on. Yeah, oh, exactly. This, this is when it you kicks in. You see the, the money. What can yeah. I get you guys? What can I get for you? She's still sitting down. She doesn't understand it. Wow, there's Nothing. actually customers in my bar. What do I do now? What the hell? This thing looks like a buffet line. What's going on here? Holy You know, it's not unlike what sh the situation that would happen anyway when a giant biker group's riding the road, and they come in all at once, and they should be used to it and able to handle that. What do you want? What else? What do you need? Lay it on a seat for you what? Blood bike, okay? That was easily two and a half ounces of booze. There's no reason to overpour that much. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. As a bartender, you're supposed to serve one and a half ounces, and you're supposed to make sure that people drink responsibly. Oh, my god. She didn't seem very happy about having a bunch She's of new customers. She's miserable. She's inconvenienced by the whole thing. Yeah, sure. I got it. Shut up. Holy shit. It's like a truck stop. All right. Who needs anything? There's the sister, Drunky McDrunkerton's back behind the bar now. And she's bringing it up, I still. Where's that going? I am. She, she is hammered. is annihilated. Yeah. You guys serve food? No. You don't serve food? So the place is called Handlebar Cafe. Right. But there's nobody in the kitchen. Look at that place. Oh, my god. And it doesn't look to me like it's even open. No. But what is that? Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. That's a piece of bacon, John. Oh. We got bacon, brother. Which tells me whoever closed this kitchen down last never cleaned it. Mm -hmm. When I see this, I'm happy they're not yeah. selling food. Oh, oh here we go. Bars are dangerous places. Yeah. There's glass back there. There's knives back there. It's like being drunk in a line, chef. Right. You'll kill yourself. Exactly. That's it? That's all you <laughs> Oh, boy. Stephanie. <laughs> Go that way, for real. Go that way. Oh, that's, that's your food, hey? Yeah, that's your food. Why don't you go that way? Go that way. Get out from behind the bar. All right, I'm done. She's too drunk to work. She can't pull it off. Yep. I, I got deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Bang, bang. Just for you, I think. 
I've never been more excited or more about cheese puffs because they finally got some food. And everybody's sticking out. Oh. All right, go ahead. Put it in your mouth, touch your fingers, go right back in. Bitch, pull me out behind the car. I'm like speechless, John. Yeah, yeah me too. You listen to me? No. You. All right, stop. Thank listen. You. She's a train wreck. Uh, fine. You. You. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? No. it. Hater. Hi, guys. How are ya? Hello. How are you? Hi. How are you doing? Hi. What are you up to? About oh, you know, a little of this, Six little feet. Of that. Let yeah. me see. Stand up. <laughs> Give or take. <laughs> well, you just never know. A lot of guys brag about how tall they are, you know? Yeah. Most other things. Very yeah. thirsty. Yeah. Don't mistake. Um, yeah, guys. I'm a mistake guy. Medium rare. All right. This is clearly not a female-friendly environment. Look at how the men are being served, but the women are waiting. Yo, call your cab. Here, see the three of them? Good bartender. Look at them drinking champagne out of these bottles. She's not even trying to hide the fact that she's drinking back there. That's inappropriate, and it's irresponsible. You're done You're drinking. You were supposed to be working tonight. Why aren't I working? Because I can't even think about putting someone as trashed as you behind my bar First right now. First of all. You just need to get out of my face and sober the f up. You are accusing me of being intoxicated. It's not an accusation. It's a fact. Artie. There he is. He's the owner. All right. You can have one sip. This one's three sheets to the wind. What can I get for you? This is Joey, the manager. Look at this. It took over nine minutes to serve the female customers. Dirty martini. Okay. Thank you. It's very dirty. <laughs> Some is a little too dirty, right? You hear that? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? You're killing my Trixie's here. Get off of her. Are you a Is that a blow up doll? Oh, my God. You deflated her. You made her wrinkle. They just say the C word. Oh my God. What a bar. That doll's freaking me out. It just feels like it's staring over here. <laughs> like you don't belong. You hear that? Boy, if we don't get girls like this to feel comfortable and come to this bar, we will not they be able really to They look really out of place. Why? Terrible representation of women behind the bar. What up now? I'm not kidding. <laughs> Did you bring any other toys <laughs> maybe with you? Something battery operated, perhaps? Did he just say that? No, not that. <laughs> what a pig. He's the owner. Well, she's very flexible. There was a lot of sexual comments kind of thrown our way. It made me feel very, very uncomfortable. I wouldn't come back to this place at all. You know what, guys? There's no logic to this. They're drinking out of liquor bottles behind the bar. Unacceptable. They're using the C word in front of female customers. What the hell am I waiting for? I'm going to work, guys. Wow, holy John Taffer's here. Oh my God, he's here, I told you, my Alrighty, John Taffer. Nice to meet Pleasure. you. Pleasure, nice to meet you. Did you notice anything unusual when we're standing here? Um, I think of that blinking light. I feel like I'm getting epilepsy. Do you want to sit in that chair? How many times have you walked by this thing? Nobody sees everything. This is pretty blatant, don't you think? It horrifies me to thinking what else I'm going to see. I think it scares you. It's scaring the hell out of me right now. This should have been seen. Just why don't we get the staff together. Let's talk to everybody. Let's go to work, OK? Guys, come on over. Let's all line up over here and talk. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 I've been doing this for over 30 years. Boy, I see a lot of red eyes when I look across that room. I and mean, how much drinking have you done tonight? A bottle of champagne. Who paid for that champagne? Party. Oh, so they're partying out on your money. How much have you drank tonight? I had one drink and a half a drink. One and a half drinks. What were the drinks? Vodka. What kind of vodka? Kettle. Oh, so she's pouring your most expensive vodka. Very nice of you to be a big shot on his money. Now, how much money are we losing? Give me a number. Grand. We close when, Artie? A couple of months. Do you understand this? Your jobs are ending. So who is scheduled to work tonight, Artie? Jen. 
and you didn't work tonight. I was ready to come to work. Why was she told not to work behind the bar? She was far too intoxicated to let go behind the bar. What? So you were relieved of your duties because you were drunk. No, I ready did not show up for work too drunk. She obviously didn't hear you, so say it again. It's tough to argue with it. Oh, my gosh. If I put you behind a bar, can you control yourself? Absolutely. I don't think so. I think by her, by her own admission, she'll oh help herself gosh. to a beer. Do you want me to go? Do I want you to go? Yeah. No, I want you to straighten up and stay. Okay. Having the kind of relationship I have with my crew, I have a really hard time having to come down on him. I got an easy solution. Jen, if you can't stay sober in this business, you're fired. Done deal. And that's how we control this. And what do you do here, Joey? I'm the bar manager. I've been with Artie for 18 years. So what authority do you have, Joey? He has ultimate control. You're a manager with no authority, aren't you? Yes. Somebody given the title of manager with no authority. He's a stupid advisor who will accomplish absolutely nothing. So there's no standards in the kitchen. There's no standards at the bar. They drink a bottle of champagne. And when I had two girls sitting at this bar, and you said the word and here's the coup de grace. You're walking up to girls and asking them if they have a vibrator, aren't you? I did. What the hell is cool about this? This is about as moronic as you could possibly be. Congratulations. I'd like to have a toast with you guys, because I think you're all about the stupidest bartenders I have ever met. I'm leaving because I'm going to just get angrier by the minute. Tomorrow, that freaking doll is gone. Your language is gone, and your perverted comments are gone. There's Ryan. That's Bill's son. Wait. He only works here part time. Do you want the whiskey chilled or warm? There's Liz. She's the managing partner. She supposedly has some equity in the business and has an arrangement with Bill, the owner, to buy it over in a period of time. There's Shauna, drinking behind the bar. She's one of your bartenders. OK. And smoking a cigarette behind the bar. It's against health code. There's no smoking allowed, right, Tony? It's not yeah. even debatable. Oh. A cigarette holding oh. over the right beer above glass. The beer. I don't give a if the customers are allowed to smoke in that room. The employees are not. No. That's right. That's totally inappropriate. I'm in the mood for a dirty martini. This place is a joke. Just keep on the point. <laughs> you don't need to over pour to make someone buzz and happy. Make them a good drink. And a pint glass, Tony. You see that? It's huge. So either there's an obscene amount of liquor in that, or it's olive juice. One of the two. Oh, she's putting her hands. Oh. oh, she's been the same smoking. hand she was been smoking with. Oh, handling money. Can you do it without the ice? Just switch it to another glass. You don't want ice? No. Whenever I order a martini, I expect it to be up unless I request it to be on the rocks. So she just dumped that all into a glass. Yeah, I'll take it out. That's cool. Now the customer has to reach in and get that olive out. That's just lazy. Oh. I think Ryan's got it. Martini is crap. Oh, she doesn't like it. I would have walked out by now. Shauna. I want an order of mozzarella sticks, a couple of um, Swiss and bacon burgers, medium rare. Medium tea, medium rare, medium. Well, whatever. That's cooking 101. Right. How are you doing, Shelly? You ready for a beer? Thank you. I'm almost certain we ordered bacon cheeseburgers, right? Oh, yeah, we did. No bacon. Oh. The great chunk of meat. Because it wasn't cooking properly. It's not high enough. I'm not impressed. No, not by a long shot. I'm not going to eat that. Anything else you guys want? not normal? Look at her. She's just angry and pissed. Look at her face. Shauna. Absolutely. Shauna. She's done for the night. Can we get two kamikaze shots? She's really ignoring the customer right now. I'll make it. You stay over here. Liz jumped in. She's now making the kamikaze. Thanks, Liz. And it's Hi. She just looks up and on. Yes, she did. Look at them. They're in shock. And they're members. 
they paid for the right to be in this room. Relax. Okay, send their f***ing order in free t-shirt. Hey, Michelle, you need to calm down. Take a deep breath, slap a big smile on your face, and let it go, okay? Drama queen. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's all about me. It's not about the customers. It's about me. Exactly. Her. You smile? You smile? Oh, you know, we got a superstar, huh? That's exactly what I was thinking. While Liz works hard to be a good business partner, foolish owner Bill is happy because everybody's drunk. <laughs> Yay! Oh, she did finish it, pussy! What's your number one responsibility as a bartender? To keep people safe. This guy is promoting an unsafe environment. One thing that infuriates me more than anything is an irresponsible drunk owner who encourages his employees to be drunk, drive home drunk, encourages his customers to be over intoxicated. He tells his employees, over poor bitch. I've seen enough. Ah! Whoa, whoa, what just happened? Is that? Ooh. What? What the? What is that? Oh! Here's Michelle. Michelle owns the place. Her father bought her this bar. <laughs> and there's Larry, the father. Her father is in the hole, $364,000. Maybe she thinks this is a free-for-all. Maybe she thinks daddy's going to keep writing the check. Her husband, Brian, is the co-owner. Brian works five jobs. Oh, wow. Tries to earn money, works his butt off. And Michelle is not doing anything about turning the place around. So there's Robert. Mm -hmm. He's one of the senior bartenders here. And this Corey, he's on security. So I got great recon for tonight. <laughs> I'm so excited. I brought in Maria Menunos and Kevin Undergaro. They're waiting a while for any attention from the bartender. OK, so now we're at one minute. They have no drink. They're getting the bar wiped down. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Look at them staring at him, and nothing is happening. He could have said hello and asked them what they're having. Yeah. Even if you have a busy bar, you should always acknowledge the guest. OK, I get you guys. I'll add a strawberry margarita. Strawberry margarita. <laughs> Whiskey cola. He made the wrong drink. That's not what she asked for. This is supposed to be a strawberry margarita. My bad. One second. I've already made, like, five margaritas today, so it's in my head. I've already made five margaritas. This is not an excuse as to why you don't give your guests what they asked for. He pours it in with the ice in a stem glass. And topped it with soda. What was that? And what comes on the sampler? Everything. <laughs> Robert. Oh, thank you. We'll order the sampler. I want to get the chili cheese fries, too. I'm going to puckering up. Tasted like dirty dish soap. How's yours? <coughs> so they're gonna microwave the chili. Did you see that? Yep. Oh, well, thanks. Can we get a couple of traps? Thank you. The cheese isn't melted. The french fries are soggy. Thank you. We still have the sample coming out, right? What's the ticket time on this? It's been a while. Eight minutes. I think I forgot to put that in. Oh, no. Forgot, forgot to put it in. in. They are responsible for leaving the bar to cook the food. Then who is taking care of the bar guests? Where's all my bartenders? This lovely gentleman needs right. some beers. We're now at 11 minutes on that platter. Now, normally, a potato skin would be fried so it's crisped and then topped off. Yeah. So I'm guessing this is going to be very soggy. soggy. Look at those wings. They're not crisp. You can see it. Mm -hmm. Um, potatoes are raw. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's raw. That's yeah, raw. It's raw. Oh, that's gross. Don't eat that, Kevin. Don't eat that. I can't let this go on. I'm going in. Like, where's all my bartenders? Michelle. Hi. I'm John Taffer. Is Brian here? Yes. Great. Come on over. <laughs> Brian, John Taffer. How are you? Uh, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Come on over. I want you to meet somebody. This is Maria Menunos. Right. If you've ever watched Extra, and Kevin Undergaro, I sent them in here to be my recon tonight. 
So, you didn't eat your potato skins, you love potato skins. I, love potato I know that skins, about yeah. you. Yeah. How many bites did you take? One. She didn't even take a second bite. Couldn't eat the chicken wings. It was raw. Raw. Yeah. I knew immediately because I've been in the food business, so I, I didn't want to get sick, so I spit it out. Does it take rocket science to know that a drink should be made properly and your bartender should make it correct? When he got done mixing the drink, the glass was only half full. So rather than look like the idiot that he obviously is, he pulled out his soda gun and topped it off. And you wonder why the hell you're losing money. You got from last night take trash out? No, just that front barrel. I yeah, didn't you forgot. It. Yesterday day, we ended up being $22 short. Rachel put a smiley face like it's a good thing. There's Shelly. That's Jeff's girlfriend. She sort of tries to help out, but she's never been in the bar business before either. There's Missy. Right. She's the bartender drinking at the bar. That's a detriment to the whole business. I'm not doing any of that. So there's Nadia, bartender. I guess we're the only bartenders that work in right now, since, you know, Nadia's not. And there's Kimmy, our last bartender. <laughs> we're walking into Drama City here, and there's one thing you and I know, drama does not work in the bar. No. So for recon tonight, I got us two local girls, young 30s. Okay fit our target demo. Okay. They're from the residential neighborhood. I want to see how they react to this bar. Can I get you guys? Can I have a cosmopolitan margarita? What did they order? A margarita? Margarita and a cosmopolitan. This is probably the worst Cosmo I've ever had in my whole entire life. That Cosmo looks like a glass of strawberry jam. Look at the color of that thing. <laughs> I'm sure that's how she wanted to get that Cosmo, too, is in a rocks glass. Oh, kick there, huh? When I order a shot of tequila, I don't drink it in a wine glass. That's right. This is seriously not good at all. These guys do not know how to pour liquor. They are selling a bunch of beer. So these are the girls that live in this area. They're sort of out of place, aren't they? Mm hmm These are blue-collar guys out here. Yeah. They're hanging with each other. It's almost like a man cave mm -hmm. of bars. Yeah. Missy, guys been sitting there without a beer. I have no idea. I didn't Does this guy understand his staff is going to cause him to lose it all? Look at what they're doing. This is ridiculous. Oh! oh. I've never seen this type of employee interaction in front of customers before. I mean, literally behind the bar. It's a joke. They're causing him to fail. Mm -hmm. We're here to stop him from failing, and it starts now. This bar is a free-for-all. There's no leadership. Jeff lost a million one, and he'll lose another million if he doesn't change his course immediately. Jeff. Jeff Simon, John Taffer. Let's go talk in the corner. Sure. So, you know, I'm here to help you. You have an accounting background, Yes, right? I do. Okay. 31 years. You know numbers. Right. A million and one you have into this? A million and one plus. See, you have your whole savings in this? I got nothing left. We don't turn this around. We're done. We're done. Absolutely. I watch your bartenders squirt each other with a soda gun. Right. Fight with each other. You're sinking, and they're causing it. I know. Here's the deal. Close the bar. Get the staff together for a meeting. Absolutely. Your future starts now. Hey, Missy, call last call. We're closing for the night. All right, last call. I'm really frustrated right now. My staff closed me down because their attitudes and the drama. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.